Mercy. Are you putting on mommy's glasses? <laughs> well, we survived our first trip alone, Mercy and me. Um, I'm just heading out of Pensacola now and about to get on the road, but first, I am going to stop by Krispy Kreme because mama needs a nice coffee and a donut or two, you never know. I just can't believe all of the stuff required for traveling with a toddler and I'm I'm thinking that I really don't need a lot of the stuff because I'm used to thinking travel with an infant or you know with a small baby but Mercy is she's not requiring as many things and like I mean really I don't really need to travel with like a feeding spoon for her I can just use a spoon for my dad's house you know, just stuff like that. I mean, I've just got, I've got every baby gadget, every, everything. Mercy has had two just explosive diapers this morning. <laughs> so, I'm hoping that that's it. That's it for the ride for a while, girl, okay? You promise? Yeah, all right. I love you. Ooh, the hot donut. Hot Donuts Now sign is on. Hot Donuts Now. Mm -mm. I've just realized that it's been an hour and 50 minutes since I nursed Mercy. I was so busy packing up the car um, that I forgot. So, since she's 16 months and still nursing every two, two and a half, three hours, I don't know. I think that I'm gonna just go on and get on the road and just stop as soon as she starts crying, which could be in five minutes or she could fall asleep. I don't know. We will see. <coughs> Mommy's gonna stop as soon as we get someplace where I can stop, okay? <coughs> stop. It's okay, honey. Oh. I stopped and fed her. No wet diaper, no dirty diaper, but... Oh, she's still growing. I'm hoping that once we start moving, she'll be okay. It's okay, honey. We have to go home and see Daddy and Papa, honey. The only way to do that is to ride in the car, okay? It's hard when you've got to do things that you don't want to do. Don't worry. The music class music always calms her down. Well, we've been on the road for two hours. This is our second stop. And Mercy's just having a little bit of a hard time. So, we just took a walk and I'm gonna nurse her. And, <laughs> ow! And hopefully she'll go on and take a nap because that's what she really needs. Oh my God.
mattress and Tempur-Pedic pillows and like they have this cooling thing in them and it is so like it is truly the most comfortable bed ever we love it um, we're still paying for it <laughs> but it was worth it we sleep so well I'm ready to go home I'm kind of homesick like I miss my husband I miss my bed I miss my dog I miss my routine I miss like our family room has you know just everything's childproof so I can kind of let mercy go at my dad's house you know I don't expect him to like childproof his life because he doesn't have kids there but I mean we live you know hundreds of miles away but it is nice at home just to be able to let mercy just kind of have more freedom to run around and well she can't run yet but you know use her walker around and I don't have to worry so much because we have foam on everything. Boy, this truck is going slow. It's either people are going super duper slow or they're speeding like maniacs. Oh my gosh. Like the speed limit is 70 and this truck is going 60. I don't know. Mercy only slept for 25 minutes and then she was crying pretty bad so I pulled over um, at the first gas station I saw and it was really creepy like <laughs> I didn't feel safe there so I checked her diaper she's fine I gave her some Cheerios she seems to have calmed down um, you definitely need to be careful about where you stop when you're traveling alone with a baby I mean it's kind of creepy you're like stopping at a secluded place no no, 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 no. I've decided to get off and um, get off in Montgomery and see if I can find my grandmother's old house. I mean, I think I know exactly where it is, but you know, it's been a long time since I've been here. But I just really want to see it. And usually when I, when I've driven by here, with Michael, I just don't want to, like, make him stop or, you know, I'm afraid that I won't be able to find it. Um, but, because everything looks a little different, but Zelda Road, there are signs to Zelda Road, and I know that, I think that I'll be able to find it. This is so weird. I think this is it. Poor Mercy. I hope that you're going to be okay, honey. You seem to be so quiet and everything. I thought this would be a good time to stop. I think that this is it. Guys, I don't know. <laughs> there are all these fast food restaurants here. Definitely not what was here before. Hey, Bunny Roo. We're going to go see Rosie's house.
there's the brick mailbox oh my god now this house that house used to be um, George Wallace's and here's Rosie's oh my god wait was that house George Wallace's I'm sorry person oh y'all it looks awful somebody's got a grill or something out there it's just not pretty anymore like the yard is overgrown I wonder if it's for sale but that whole garage was like our playroom and she had all these what that house wasn't George Wallace's it was the next one yeah, because she lived two down from him. Oh, all the ferns. Everything's overgrown. I don't think anyone is taking very good care of that house. That one, let's see if I have it. This one right here with the um, columns, that was George Wallace's, the one that's for sale. That was George Wallace's house. <laughs> My grandmother used to have another house and her backyard butted up to George Wallace's. And then they moved over here. Like my grandparents moved over here. And who do you think comes moving on along? <laughs> but George Wallace and he moves two doors down. She just couldn't get away from him. Oh my gosh. I consider Montgomery, Alabama where I was born to legit be one of the worst places on earth. There is racism here. There is division here. There is segregation here. It doesn't matter if schools were integrated. There is segregation here. People are racist. I, I mean, I don't have any experience with this city for what, like 18 years since my grandmothers died. Um, they died like within a few months of each other. But um, yeah, it for a long time. Really sad. I mean, but let's face it, it's still like all over America and the world really sucks. But I'm really sad to see her house like that. Why isn't someone taking care of the lawn? Ugh. It was so pretty when she lived there. And she used to have like these little wild strawberries and ferns in the back. She had a little garden and she would grow like pickling cucumbers. I mean, it wasn't a very big garden, but just enough for her to have a little fun with it. That was, that was great grandmother Rosie's house, honey. Rosie. Love Rosie. Rosie and Gigi. They were my grandmothers. I really miss them. Goodbye, Montgomery. Ugh. Glad that I escaped you. Awful place. It's just so backwards there. And I mean, I'm sorry, people who live in Montgomery, if you see this and you think that I'm wrong, but. It's backwards and I feel like I'm going back in time when I go there. I feel like I wish that I could purge from my like formation some of the things that I learned there or, or that, you know, scarred me, I feel like. I mean, my grandmother, Gigi. I love Gigi, obviously, you know, she was my grandmother and I love her, but some of that racism, like, I, I, I think it really wounded my heart. Like, I, I lived in Montgomery until I was three, and I don't know if I was visiting them in the summer or if I was, um, or if I have this memory from when I was three, but I remember distinctly, I went to kinder care, which was a daycare, and 
I came home and I was so excited because I had met this little girl and like we had played all day and she was gonna be my best friend and I just like I couldn't quit talking about her um, you know she was just the best and I had so much fun and we we swam together like the daycare had a pool and I mean and I was telling them my, my grandmother and my grandfather, I was telling them, and she has an Audi belly button, and I just thought it was the coolest thing I'd ever seen because I had never seen an Audi before. Well, my grandmother realized that I was talking about this little black girl, and she told me, uh-oh, I've gotten on the wrong road. Um, she told me that she didn't think that I should be friends with her, and it crushed me. Like, it really crushed me. Anyway, it really, really hurt me when she said that. And <sighs> why? Why? Why are people like that? <sighs> Children no don't know. Children don't know, oh, you should be friends with this person or you shouldn't be friends with that person because of the color of their skin. It's so sick. It's so sick. And I feel like when she said that, it, it hurt me. You know, it hurt my heart. I hope that I don't do anything like that to Mercy. Cuz she didn't mean she didn't mean to hurt me. I mean, and she had, you know. That's, you know. She married <laughs> she married a Jewish man. Okay, my grandfather Herbert was Jewish. So, you know, he always like he always hated that side of her. And, you know, my grandmother was not like a raging racist. It wasn't a, it wasn't really something that came up a lot. She kind of just stayed in her little white world in, in uh, Montgomery. Very easy to do there. My grandfather kind of hated it whenever any racism from her would pop up because he knew he was Jewish you know Jewish people were looked on, uh, uh, looked upon badly there too anyway that's my rant all right we just stopped for lunch and uh, I fed mercy and we're in the final stretch we've got about two hours according to the GPS to go she seems to be in a pretty good mood there's been a lot less crying on this trip than on the way down. I don't know if it's because we just got an earlier start or if she kind of knows that we're going home instead of we were just suddenly going away from home. But I'm glad that she's happier now. I hate it on the way down. I just hated to hear her cry because I just didn't know what to do for her. dirty diaper, if she's been fed, if she has something to snack on or a toy. No. Not much else you can do. Other than the temperature. But I'm going to be glad to be home. I miss my dog. I miss my husband. I miss just my normal my normal routine. There's the city and there's the traffic. <laughs> Poor honey bunny, we're almost home, okay? We're home finally, honey. Mercy. <coughs> honey, you looking at daddy? Oh, yay! <laughs> Hey, honey. She's happy. 
Hey. 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 I missed you. Missed you too. Pablo! Pablo! Oh, you look so cute, honey.